What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. Definitely. You guys, today we're going to talk about Jordan Peele's Nope. Um, I literally just got out the theater um, not too long ago. And, alright. So this will have spoilers in it. Let's get to it. So first off, with Jordan Peele's Nope, this is what happens, you guys. We, we start off with Dane Kalua's character, which is OJ, uh, OJ Haywood, and uh, his, uh, I think his first name is like Otis. So Keith David is his dad, and they own a ranch. And, you know the Haywood, they're they're you know they're legendary for you know dealing with horses and you know the ranch and everything. So um, the opening scene, basically, we get this scene that we seen in the trailer where you know Dane Kalua. He's walking his horse, and his dad, which is Keith David, is on a horse, and out of nowhere, stuff starts falling out the sky, and a fucking nickel strikes him and in the eye, and it kills him. <gasps> it's from, like, you know, when it falls down, the harder it comes down, so, uh, you know, you're saying nickels and keys, you know, going to the horse, and um, it's like, what is going on, man? Like, what, what, what's going on? So, as we, you know, progress through the movie, um, we find out that Dan Kalua... Um, he, he believes in his dad's dream. You know, his dad passed. He believes in his dreams. He wants to keep it alive. And his sister, which is Kiki Palmer, which was my by far my favorite character in this film. She killed it. I really love Kiki Palmer. But her name is Emerald. And she's super. She has a lot of comedic relief in this. She's funny. Um, but she she's trying to, you know, have like she's trying to just, you know, be there for her brother in a way I feel, but she's also having these side hustles going on. You know, she's trying to, but she doesn't want to focus on the family business. To make a long story short, so you know, she's staying with Danny Kalua. You know, they're chilling out and stuff. And um, make a long story short, um, Danny Kalua is out at night and he sees the UFO. He sees the UFO in the air, and you know, it comes to that part where he tells you know Kiki Palmer basically, "Hey, I um just seen a big." object in the air it's big and it's fast like it's like a different type of fast and she's like what was it what was it so they're starting to jump it jump to it like basically it was a ufo and stuff like that so she's telling him basically hey you can get paid for it i saw people get paid 100k just starting 100k for real you know like raw footage of stuff like that if you have it and you know dane kalua's questioner and he's just like hey um what about people that have it online and stuff like that so we we progress through the film and so they go to this place called fry and um they meet the character his name is angel brandon Pereira, and you know it's like he's kind of I don't even know how to explain him, man. I didn't really care, you know, for him in the beginning, but he grew on me. But, you know, he's like, hey, what's up? You got this. They're getting these cameras to capture the um, UFO or whatever. And um, he's like, hey, man, you know, you want me to come in style and stuff? Make a long story short. They get, the, they get the equipment. They go to the house. He comes and he's, you know, they told this man that people were trying to break in the house. But as he's adjusting the cameras, Dane Kalua's like, up. Go a little up. And he's like... We're not gonna see anybody when your freaking camera's facing the clouds. For sure, um, they tell he's talking about know, control the film and everything, the capture and everything from where I'm at on my laptop. Like, no, we don't want you because you know they want that money. They don't want nobody to get in on it. So you know, but he's at work and he's starting seeing shit on the camera. You know, he's hard headed, obviously, but the UFO is out and Kiki Palmer got the cameras adjusted and everything, but. Something crazy happens, basically, like a prayer mantis gets on front of the lens, and they can't capture it, and they had it, and it was a lot of crazy stuff going on, and, bro, we find out that scene in the trailer where we see these weird-looking aliens creeping, that it was actually three kids pranking from Jupiter, from the uh, the Jupiter attraction that was ran by uh, Steven Young, which is Ricky, um, but, you know, and it's just like, you know, he's kind of want to capture that also, so he's... He's um, had this a big event and everything, you know, Jupiter's claim and whatever. And, you know, Dane Kalua basically is trying to, he's, set, he's selling horses to him, thinking, you know, it's going to, to be, you know, in, in a good home and everything. The whole time, um, Steven Young is using the horses as bait and the UFO is, you know, taking the horses. Yeah. And go back to Dane Kalua's character. Um, He's kind of starting to see, like, hey, man, I need to get some of these horses back so we can get a business going and everything. So, in the opening, you know, in the opening of, we get, like, this, like, 
soundstage type of scene where this monkey, this you know, this monkey is like killing people. Like he just goes crazy and he's killing people. And it's actually a, a flashback of Ricky when he was younger. So he's like, you know, on his TV show, um, and it's called like Kid Sheriff or something like that. But anyways, he's freaking watching people witness people get murdered by this monkey and then it's like a shoe like a, a drop of blood is pointing up almost like it was like the ufo was kind of like pulling stuff in but if for some reason it, it couldn't pull the shoe in i don't know it was weird but the monkey stuff had me creeped out like i'm not gonna lie so in that trailer when we thought that was the alien with the fist bump no it was the monkey so i want to say that i feel that uh ricky's character stevie on like he had like a connection with like animals and we're gonna get into it more like animals i want to say like he was kind of like different and he was like a chosen one or something but we get on to you know angel and kiki palmer and uh dan kalua like the trio now right so they're talking about ufos and now you know eventually they, they kind of fill in um uh, brandon Pereira's character in on what's going on ufos so you know he brings up uh uap instead of ua um ufo it stands for like um I think it's like unidentified aerial phenomenon or something like that like it's just like you know it's it's different it's still ufo but it's just you know i just changed it but anyways um we're progressing through the film and everything and they're like really dedicated to getting this on camera and stuff so with the alien and everything and with the alien get up and they kind of you know they prank game Kalua and they, I, that part was crazy, man. I think that you know Jordan Peele, man, I love this film. But if you would have kept that in there somehow, somewhere, and made a like reality in this film, not a prank, bro, that creeped a lot of people out of my theater. So just wanted to throw that out there. The score is amazing. He plays the score at the right time. Um, the score is amazing, and you know Jordan Peele said a lot of Jaws was in this, and I can see it. I can see a lot of Jaws in this film, you know, with this UFO and everything. We're gonna get into it. So, make a long story short, to let you guys know straight up, it's not a UFO. It's actually a creature. It's actually a creature that is like disguising itself as a UFO. And we get this character's name is like Antlers, and he's kind of like obsessed with like you know predators. And I want to say he's almost yeah. It's like it's weird. We get like these scenes of him watching you know people um, animals get attacked by other animals and stuff like that. Almost kind of it feels like it was kind of trying to show us this US this UFO is like a predator. It's you know it's an animal. So and I I kind of go back to you gotta go back to this you guys where that scene where Dane Kalua sees the UFO you know aka the monster is hiding in this cloud and when you think about it like cheetahs and lions and stuff like that you know they disguise their stuff they hide in trees and bushes before they creep up on their prey as they almost camo themselves if that makes sense and i think that's what this ufo was doing so uh, as we progress, we find, you know, like I said through the film, we find out that this is not a UFO, and it kind of shows its true form and becomes this monster, this creature, um, this large creature. So we get a scene that was probably one of the best scenes that I feel that was in a film where um, Angel and Kiki Palmer's character, they're in the house, and Daniel Kalua, he's outside in the car. And um, he's outside in the car because... He, he actually goes to Jupiter's claim to get his horse back, which is Lucky. Uh, his horse name is Lucky. And um, basically, Lucky got lucky uh, because um, Ricky, uh, Steven Young's character, hosted this event where he tried to get the UFO's attention so he can get it on camera. But uh, he didn't, it didn't, you know, it wasn't a success. So the freaking um, UFO kills everyone, sucks everybody up in like this twister type thing. And as we see them getting, you know, as we see them entering the UFO, aka the monster, they we can see like the inside almost looks like a throat, like a like a, you know, it's like really like a, it's sucking them in. They just hear people screaming, which was terrifying. You just hear screams, and and the whole film, to be honest, man, I, my ass was out the seat. Um, the tension was there. My I felt for some reason George Peel did a great job at giving me anxiety. Um, I was I don't know why I was scared, but I was really scared, like for. I don't even know why I was scared. It was just the score and, and the situation but like we were in in this movie. So we get to that, it takes the people, right? Later that night, you know, um we wind the back. So Daniel Daniel Kalua um figures out that you don't look the freaking um the predator which is the UFO in the eye. So he knows not to do it, but it's kinda hard not to because it's like wow. So he looks at it and it comes at him. And it kind of shows you right there, it's kind because it kind of like it shows that it's like a soft type of skin. It's not even a UFO. So, anyways, he runs 
and it does the twister thing. It sucks him in, but he hits his head like on some wood. He wakes up later that night, and, and then it fast forward back to the scene where um, Kiki Palmer and Andrew are in the house, and the freaking UFO, aka the creature, is hovering over the house. And uh, it's, it's like it almost threw up blood. Like it's like it, it, it cleaned out its insides because, um, like the trailer, we see that scene where the blood rains on the house, which is one of the fucking creepiest, best scenes. Showing that 80s type, it was like an 80s feel for me. You see the blood just dripping down the window, and then you hear bro, It was the most, it was one of the most creepiest scenes in the movie. Angels under the table, Kiki Pop. They're hearing screams like people are terrified for their life, and you're hearing screams. So the next day, you know. Fast forward it, you know, stuff from, I guess, their pockets. And, and it kind of shows how Keith David died, which is Dane Clue and Kiki Palmer's dad. And it kind of shows, like, keys, you know, when stuff falls from a high height and it comes down, it's going to, hey, it's going to come down fast. So we see, like, keys and nickels and all type of stuff falling. So that's well, that's why, you know, the stuff fails coming from the UFO, a.k.a. the monster. I don't even know what to call it, you know. But, um... Yeah, so he make this planet call up antlers. He's like obsessed. He has his passion to get this shit done. He comes and you know the the UFO actually you know it kind of messes with the electricity and cars and stuff. So they had to get a camera that does not work on electricity. Um, and, and you know antler, I mean and antler. His name is so weird, but he 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 loves it so much. He has a passion for film and getting the the impossible shot is what he calls it. And then he sacrifices himself and he gets an impossible shot, but his point is because he dies. And, and you know the camera breaks and everything so now on to the trio we get angel dan kalu and kiki palmer and it's, it's like now it's getting to the final act and uh we get angel he's on he's almost about to get sucked up by the creature and um he ties bob wire around himself so when he goes inside the creature uh it won't work because it, it can't eat him because bob wire is obviously sharp so he gets spitted out or whatever and you know dan kalu to get these bro it has some of uh, of the most amazing shots in this film. Shout out to Jordan Peele. The shots were amazing. That's kind of why I loved it a lot. The shots and the feel, the vibe, the anxiety, the score. It, it was crazy, you know. And um, it was wild the way they shot the ending. How Dane Kalua is on a horse. Kiki Palmer's on a bike. And they're like telling each other like, like, come on, we got to get this done, you know. And, and Kiki Palmer, she takes the matters in her own hands. And she's trying to tell, you know, she's trying to tell her brother to come on. She leaves. She leaves and she goes to Jupiter's claim. We had this big blow up of Steven Young's character. And she decides, like, hey, man, like, bro, it may be, you know, because it's these little blow up things. And, and it flags. We find out that they can't, the, the, the creature can't swallow that. Obviously, like a human, you can't swallow stuff that's that material. No, you know, it's, it, it fucking suffocates you. So, um, she has this great idea. It's like, it's, and it's coming up, it's a creeping up on the ending. And, um, you know, she takes the blow up thing away and the freaking creature eats it and, and it kills it. It blows it up. And, you know, it was a lot of Easter eggs in here. We saw like a, a, a mad TV poster from uh, Gordy, uh, you know, Gordy and everything. And in that situation, uh, cause you know, Jordan Peele dealt with stuff like that. Um, but it was just crazy, man. It was crazy. It was for some people, you guys, it's going to be confusing. This is definitely one of those films you got to see twice. You got to see it twice. I'm going to see it twice for sure. But um, you have to really sit there and think. It's, it's almost like, you know, unidentified is what the big word in this film. You know, we kind of got got. We thought it was UFOs and aliens the whole time. It's like a creature. It's a predator. But it takes form. To, to, to hide itself and you know it hides itself in clouds and you know it feeds it feeds you know and it, it's crazy man it's, it's definitely I give it an 8 out of 10 um definitely an 8 out of 10 because of how it was shot the score and just you know the story behind it I liked it I, I really did I enjoyed it it's different for horror um I don't know what the hell but I had so much anxiety I like scary like I don't know why my ass was up out of the seat um, but yeah, it, it was crazy. I, I enjoyed it though. Like I said, you're gonna get, you know, especially with Daniel Kaluuya and um, Kiki Palmer's character. At least for me, I got really, you know, invested in those characters immediately. You know, you wanted to know more about them, especially Kiki Palmer. Man, she fucking killed her role as Emerald. Um, it does get confusing in moments. We do, we do, we do have a lot of moments that are all over the place, and um, you you kind of have to sit there and try to try your best to understand. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of heavy things that are here, here, and here. They're too far apart to understand, if that makes sense. Um, you know, I think Jordan Peele did great with this, but this is a def definitely a different feel from his other, def yeah, definitely a different feel from his other films. Um, you're going to have to, 
going here with an open mind when you see I'm not saying it's making a movie terrible it's just like I think he he, he thought too deep with this you know uh, he didn't think about fans who can uh, you know it's good seeing the shots and everything but it's all about you understanding this film you know you got to really think uh, unidentified flying object but it's just like you know I don't know man he got us bro it was it's a whole time it's a monster in the form of a UFO um the alien thing was just a prank um it was just crazy though so if you seen Jordan Peele's nope you guys comment down below you know um what you think about this and like Jordan Peele's Jordan Peele said he was aiming for a spectacle film and he gave us that though so I'm not gonna lie but um yeah comment down below what you guys think about um Jordan Peele's nope if you seen it um I think it was good I definitely go to see it again so but unfortunately, you guys, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to hit me on my social media. I like Scary on Instagram. I like Scary on TikTok. Brandon Don on Facebook. And I like Scary on Twitter, you guys. Don't forget to become a member of the Patreon to get exclusive content and the benefits of the channel. Also, right there where it says subscribe. Next, what you can click join and become a member of the channel. Get exclusive content and benefits, uh, such as, you know, private watch parties, you name it. Check out the official I Like Scary merch store. And you guys, watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace.